FNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here for this 10 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update on the Friday, the 24th of February. Dow's down sharply, down 438 at uh, 32,760. And what's really important about this, we took out, there was a perfect double bottom three days ago at the, pr the precise level, 32,948 on the Dow. We went through that yesterday, then ran up. And today, of course, with the inflation reviews, the market did not like it. Boom, uh, down 444 right now. So it's below that level. But look, we're in that rectangle formation. This is a pattern that I'll talk about in my show coming up in a few minutes' time, the target technicians are, where it goes to a lowercase h. And how you take out that left side low is going to be really important. There it is. There's the left side h in the weekly chart. Sharp move down, arch formation fails at a peak A or a B, and then takes out the left side low. Hasn't done that yet. We're watching it very closely. And the nine period exponential moving average four days ago went negative, and that's also a negative sign. What we're looking at in the S&P, uh, not quite the same thing. Uh, S&P had already taken out the 200 period exponential moving average support a few days ago, way down below. It's down uh, 61 at 39.50. And you can see that we spoke about the chapter wave. We're always looking for a peak D. That's where other things can happen. There's your peak D in the weekly chart, the fourth highest peak. And now we're testing the inside track propellant zone, which was a repellent zone. We're going to be watching this really closely. So this whole area of 3920 to 3900 is going to be important over the next few days. We're looking at the QQQ and the X100 uh, was helped yesterday by NVIDIA and a couple of others. Today's down uh, 6 at uh, 291. Uh, this is a leg D to the downside. And here, same thing in the weekly chart, held beautifully above the support level. And now it's coming back to test at IWM, the Russell 2000. The Russell 2000 is sitting on the 200 period moving average. It actually had a little bit better chart pattern. This is the Russell 2000 small caps. We're looking at gold. <clears throat> gold is down quite sharply. It's down 10. At 1817, I say quite sharply only because that whole support level that I've been looking at coming into 1800 is going to be very important to hold. Uh, bonds, let me just check bonds. Uh, bonds are down as well, so yields are quite sharply higher. I'll be back in a few moments for the Tiger Technicians Hour. There's a lot to talk about. We'll talk about the VIX as well. See you in a few moments. Have a wonderful weekend. Stay tuned for great programming all the rest.